Marshall Faith was born in Salina, Kansas at the start of the Great Depression. The son of a grain merchandiser who had been a naval recruiter during World War I. Every time there was a young man around that approached my mother, that my dad would recruit, recruit them, send them off to the Navy. After serving in the U.S. Navy himself, Marshall earned a degree in milling administration from Kansas State University. He began a career in the grain industry in 1951, working for the Pillsbury Company and later Bartlett Grain Company. In 1967, he bought majority interest with four other investors in the company then known as Schooler Bishop Grain Company, founded in 1892 by George Schooler in Superior, Nebraska. I was making 12,000 a year, and so uh, I agreed that I would pay something in the order of uh, 25,000 over three years. And uh, that got me right into the business. I brought in a, lot, a team of people and uh, we were able to start. Like most new ventures, there were early problems. Marshall bought an IBM computer, but after nine months, the computer had not been installed, so he did it himself. I had no other option, but I had to pick up the books, learn how to program, and ended up uh, over the next two years with a lot of nearly <clears throat> almost 24 hour days. Marshall was elected chairman in 1987. I think it was just this uh, feeling of needing to do well and a, a strong work ethic that we get from the Midwest uh, has caused uh, me to be able to lead a company and appreciate the needs of the people and, and build a fine company. A grain and renewable fuels developer and provider shipping to countries worldwide, Schooler is ranked among America's top 10 food companies. Schooler facilities are spread throughout North America with 100 products and more than 700 employees. I've become one of the largest storage companies and merchandising companies. I think we do something like about six and a half billion sales every year. And uh, we just, it's been really well. Schooler is now employee owned. Possession of that type of stock was very important uh, because our family likes the community and likes the moralities of the community and everything else. And, and though we have tons of stock out there now, all in the hands of employees, uh, that's where we're gonna be. And is on Forbes magazine's list of America's largest private companies. My theory of business is, uh, as I almost mentioned earlier, is to bring in absolutely the top people, give them the very best jobs, making sure that their remuneration uh, uh, rewards them for staying with us. And uh, <clears throat> because of that, I, I let every young person that comes in the company know uh, that uh, we're expecting them to go into various new, op new places that we sign them, find other businesses, let them personally uh, receive a very fine remuneration for being in these businesses like a 10% interest. The headquarters remains in Omaha, where Marshall continues to contribute to the economy and to the community, serving in leadership positions for many groups listed here. And this is only a partial list. Well, my wife says my avocation is serving on nonprofit boards, and I think I've served on most of the ones in the community. Last year, the schooler people threw a party for Marshall's 45th anniversary with the company. I had a chance to tell our people that unlike many companies, um, my objective is not to cut and run. Uh, what would I do with uh, huge amounts of money besides buy a 40 bedroom home in Naples, Florida and, and, and all the headaches that go with that type of thing. <clears throat> and uh, that the company had been around 150 years, and I've now placed my son in new chairman's role, brought in my grandson, who's a major operation uh, for us in Salina, Kansas, as another director, and I think I could guarantee them another 150 years of, of company, and their, their jobs would be secure through that point in time. Son David Faith is Schooler's chairman and president. 
Grandson, Phil Van Cort, serves on the board of directors. Marshall and his wife, Mona, have three other adult children, a dozen more grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. For his integrity, innovation, compassion, and care, and with a salute to his persistence, humor, and respect for teamwork, we welcome to the Omaha Business Hall of Fame, Marshall E. Faith. <laughs>